Hi, I'm Susan Clare, Gourmet Quarter, and I'm going to show you today a fun little project that you might be able to do with some children, if you've got children around. We have some children occasionally during school holidays, and it's our school holidays at the moment. So I just thought we'd have a little bit of fun with some crayons and a cotton pillowcase. So up behind me here, you can see I've just done some simple drawing on there, the idea being that the children do the drawing in general. The children were not here when I was preparing, but uh, they love to have pillowcases that have got drawings and things like that on. So I thought if I did some simple shapes using just some crayons and an iron and a little bit of freezer paper and some regular uh, photocopy type paper is really all we need for something like this. Um, I would suggest a cotton pillowcase, They're not, this is not an expensive pillowcase, um, but all cotton is, is good because then you can use a really nice hot iron which will be really helpful. So what I've got here is just some crowns, again these were not expensive crowns, they were um, inexpensive crowns. Um, they're a wax based crown which is what we're after and what we want is some crowns that are going to have enough colour in them. Some of the uh, less expensive crayons can be a little bit light on for colour, so try and find some, but well, you may have some at home. Everyone has crayons. Well, most of us have crayons. Um, so, so I've ended up with a, with a set of these crayons and they're quite nice to use. Most of the colours are quite good. There's a couple that are a bit paler. This one I actually did use up here. Not sure if you can see it. Um, it's gone quite pale. Um, but I'll show you what we're doing, and you may want pale, that's absolutely fine. So what we want to do is encourage the children to have a go at something. In the meantime, we can have a whole lot of fun. So what I've done is I've used a piece of freezer paper. I think you probably know about freezer paper. It's got a sort of waxy side on one side, um, often used in a freezer, weirdly. We're going to be using it with the fabric. So what I've done is put a piece of freezer paper inside the pillowcase with the waxy side up against the front of the pillowcase, so that it, it will just adhere, it's, but the wax will just melt just enough oops, for that to sit quite nicely and it just gives it a little bit of firmness to the fabric to have something like the freezer paper behind. You want to have something to give it a little bit of firmness otherwise it might just scrunch a little bit too easily when you're doing some drawing. So then if you're just going to do some drawing perhaps we're just going to again do some, some little circles and then you need to colour them in, but try and make sure that they're quite well coated because it's the extra colour in there that's going to make the difference when we set those colours. So you might want to do some little stars. The children, of course, will have ideas of their own, and that's fine. But just encourage them to make sure that there's plenty of colour on and that they haven't gone too lightly or left too many gaps in case they don't want gaps. They may want gaps, of course. In my experience of small people, they have lots of ideas all by themselves. It might be just some lines, it might be their name, they might like to write their name. If they're going to write their name, you might want to think about getting them to go over it a couple of times, again, so that it's nice and strong. There's so many things that you can do. You can have all sorts of colours. It might be a little butterfly. Oh, I don't know if I can draw a butterfly today. In front of you, maybe I can. And then we might have some little coloured dots on the butterfly. Just trying to think of what some of my small people would like to do. They would probably do a whole lot better job. So, it's, but it's the wax crayons that work really well for something like this rather than perhaps um, some other, there are some plastic type crayons around I believe and things like that, but it's the wax that we're after. Very simple butterfly. Um, it could be a little flower. I think I've uh, given you a bit of an idea of, of what it is that, that we're doing at the moment. It might be just some simple little shapes. They might be right into drawing triangles and colouring them in. Who knows what they're going to be into. So remember we've got our freezer paper behind and that's just helping give it a little body. It's also stopping the colour going right through to something else. I am sitting with everything on an ironing surface here. And then I'm just going to pop some, some regular paper, just a copy paper over the top of that because we're going to basically melt this wax. So when I did the one that's up behind me, these are the 
papers that I had left over. So it does get a little bit messy. You can see some of the wax comes through onto the paper. So that's why we do that, because we want it to set in there. So what we're trying to do is melt the wax with the colour into the fabric. And yes, it is washable. It may be that it fades just a little bit. This has been washed um, and the colours have stayed pretty well, but it's definitely softened just a little bit. And I'm guessing with frequent washing, it may soften even more. You could come back and colour it again, add some new colours. You might have a pillowcase, perhaps it's got a few little marks on it, because sometimes that can happen. You can just draw little pictures over them. But as I said, I think the cotton works best because you can use a nice hot iron. So I've got a nice hot iron. I've done some colouring. I'm going to now lay my paper, copy paper over that. So if you've done a bigger area, just use a couple of pieces of the paper. And then I'm just going to iron onto that and you'll see that some of that colour immediately, it, it's the wax that's melting it comes through onto that. So you don't want to be um, ironing directly onto it because the wax would go onto your iron. The paper it works as a nice little barrier. And just make sure it's getting nice and hot so that it's going right the way through. And we've still got the freezer paper in there so that's stopping it going through to the other side as well. That should do now. So some of it's obviously come up onto here, but the rest of it has stayed nicely on here. And so I just thought it was a fun, fun activity. If you've got uh, children around, sometimes in the school holidays, you can just peel the freezer paper off. It doesn't leave any residue, and you can reuse the freezer paper. You might not be able to reuse it ten times, but you can certainly use it a few times. Um, so. That's also something to consider, that you don't need to have a whole new piece every time. But that's on there now. It's there to stay. As I said, it may fade and soften just a little bit, but I can iron that directly now without any problem. Nothing apparently came out when I washed the other pillowcase. It all appeared to be uh, much the same. As I said, it did just perhaps soften just a little bit, and so perhaps frequent washing would soften it each time. But that was just an idea for a children's activity with some wax crayons and an iron, freezer paper, regular paper, and a lot of fun. Thank you.